morning, Morgan Hill here with TransWise Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you another inventory item. This is a sold unit, but we've got more on order just like it. So this is going to be a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye three horse bumper pull. Uh, these trailers are really uh, neat little trailers to get into, very economical. They're going to be great warranties on them. You're getting an eight year structural warranty, two year hitch to bumper. Um, but we'll go ahead and take a look at it and go from there. So right up front here on the front, so you got your two and five sixteenth inch ball hitch, just your manual crank jack, safety chains, all your safety stuff. Um, that is our battery pack in order for you to see the lights and how the lights work. So if you wanna run the lights without being hooked up to the truck, you either have to have an external battery source or be plugged into a truck. Um, to install an external battery source, we can get you a battery pack here. Um, we can install a permanent one too, because that one's removable, uh, but that's an option for you as well. So over here in the tack room, you got your swing out saddle rack. Since this is a three horse, it comes standard with the three tiers. We can get you another tier if you want right down here. Um, and they are adjustable, so if you decide you don't want that one at the top and you wanna move it to the bottom and you can make it however you want and make it your own. So that just swings back in. It's really easy to use, comes in and out, and that way you're not having to hike up in there, get your saddles in there, tripping over stirrups, I know how all that goes. Right here on the tack door, we've got our window up above, and then down below you can see that little brush box. Um, that brush box, just extra storage for you. And then that window, you're able to open it up, get some airflow going through, if you got some stinky, sweaty horse blankets and everything. So in the tack room, you'll also see how that saddle rack goes in. And then to the left of it, right in front of it, you've got the blanket bar and that is adjustable. So this actually comes off right here and you can move this in and out if you wanted to. If you got to layer blankets, it just makes it way easier to layer those blankets on there. Plenty of bridle hooks going up to the partition wall and that is a carpeted partition wall as well. So you're not going to be scratching up the trailer or your bridles. And then over here in the corner, we've got a 35 gallon water tank. Those water tanks come in handy. If you've got a picky horse that doesn't like water going other places, you can ease them into, you know, the new water at the new facility. Or if you're going on a trail ride, it's nice to have water on board. If you're going on a long road trip, I know I'll always have water with me. And that way, if for some reason I'm sitting on the side of the road, horses can still drink and they're still able to get the water. And then if you're like me and have dogs, you got dogs that can drink water, even yourself that can drink water. There's just so many opportunities with having that water tank in there for you to be able to use. So over here on the hip side, you've got your three ties all the way down, and those are bolted into the frame of the trailer. So, I mean, your horse is gonna have to set back pretty damn hard in order to get anything moving off that. Your bus windows, each of these open about 50%, so you can get some airflow going through. Um, all three of them do. And then you've got a bright LED light and that is adjustable. So if I was taller, I'd show you, but you can actually point that down a little more if you wanted to, you can point it back up. Um, controls for that are on the back of the trailer that I can show you. And then down below, we've got two 3,500 pound Dexter torsion axles with your steel wheels. And then around here on the back of the trailer, <clears throat> excuse me, we've got 50-50 door openings. So the 50-50 on here, you can have one closed, just load the horses through the one door. There's a bunch of different options you could do with it. Up here in the trailer, you've got your two dividers. Both dividers are padded. And then this one is also a telescoping divider. So all you gotta do is lift up this little pin and that pushes that divider in and so you have the capabilities and the ability to push this over here lock that in place there and then you can grab this one as well and do the same um, that way if you're hauling mare and foal you're hauling a horse that doesn't like tight spaces too much you can get them get them in here and they're not going to worry because you can get those over and then these just come back and push into place right there. 
And uh, each stall comes with a uh, roof vent, <laughs> and those go forward and backwards. So you push it forward, that's going to be sucking air in. Push it backwards, that sucks air out. That'll help you get the airflow going through here when you have all the windows open and get those open as well. Three very bright LED lights on the interior. So loading in the dark, unloading in the dark, you're gonna be able to see in here. Um, makes it a lot easier for you and the horses. The floors on these trailers, you've got your wood plank floors that are covered in the vortex coating. So Logan's vortex coating is kind of like rhino lining, more heat resistant to cracks. Um, and I really like that feature because you're not going to get any kind of water here and soaking into that wood and getting in there and starting to warp it faster. Uh, these floors should last you a very, very long time. And then you got your rubber mats that just flap over the top. You still have your drain holes that go down between the planks. Um, this trailer doesn't currently have a ramp on it, but if that's something you would want, we can install that here at our facility. Um, super simple for our guys to do. We just got to make sure we have a ramp in stock in order to do it for you. Up above, you've got another LED light. So another light that you're able to load and unload. And then I'm going to close this real quick and show you guys. All your doors do have latchbacks. So these right here, these latchbacks come into here. And that's gonna be really nice if you live in a windy area. I know can get, it can pick up here pretty good, um, especially up in Wyoming and stuff. That wind's blowing, you're gonna to wanna to have those on the doors, otherwise your doors are blowing everywhere and then you need a second hand to help you in order to keep doors open while loading and unloading horses. So that's how that door closes. So that's what it looks like with the 50-50. One closed, one open. And then here are your light controls for the interior and exterior lights. So those are right there and that's going to be your exterior on each side of the trailer and then your interior in the stall area. Um, there's also a bright LED light in your tack room that I forgot to point out, but you do have one in there as well. So over here on the head side, you've got drop downs on all three stalls and then you've got your drail bars that comes standard with this net. I really like the netting because you're not going to be getting, hopefully not getting any rocks or bugs or anything in your horse's eyes. It's going to help prevent that a little bit more. Um, and then you're not having to put fly mask on when they're in the trailer. So these jail bars do come down and these are removable too. So if you don't want them on there, you can take them off. Uh, the nice thing about these being able to come down you're going on a long haul, you want to check on horses, you're not having to go in through the back. I mean, all you got to do is step up on the side, make sure they're looking good, give them some water, check their feed, make sure they're doing good for you. The other thing that's really nice about these windows, everything's one-handed. So I don't know if you saw that. One-handed coming down, going back up. So all you got to do is pull this little lever right here. And then the drop downs are also one-handed. So you just pull down and those come down as well. And you do have the capabilities of opening up this window, which is nice because you can just drop it down and open it up a little bit and then close it back up if you just want to get a little bit of airflow in there instead of having that window drop down all the way. These little rubber um, pieces right here, I can't think of the word, but they allow you to pop these, these windows into place so they're not flapping against the trailer as you're going down the road. I mean, that's pretty solid right there and just takes a little bit of force at the right angle to get it out. So another LED light up above and then three more ties on these, this side. So the Logan Coach Bullseye, this trailer is going to be sitting seven feet tall. You're sitting six, nine wide and you're 16 feet, two inches on the floor. You have an empty weight of 3,380 pounds. So it's compatible with some half tons. You just have to check your, your towing capabilities and what you have on your vehicle. But that's the nice thing about these bumper poles is that they're, they're not overly heavy. You could still tow them with a half ton, um, be able to have them fully loaded as well. So this is a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye three horse bumper pole. So stock number on this trailer is going to be 5N-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1
201-370. And like I said, this is a sold unit right now, but we've got more coming in. Um, so if you are interested in one of these, make sure you reach out and let us know and we can let you know when we should be expecting those to be here. Uh, if you have any questions on any trailers we have on our lot or on our website, I know our website looks a little um, crazy right now because we don't have many pictures of trailers, but we have a lot of layouts of trailers. So we've got all of those on order. So if there's any of them that you're interested in, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, you can call or text me at my cell phone at 970-218-5996. Uh, you can call my desk phone at 303-684. 3451 or you can even shoot me an email at morgan m-o-r-g-a-n dot null k-n-o-l-l -L, at transwest.com i look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and i hope you have a great day